Good afternoon. I am recording the readings from the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Year One, Wednesday, and uh, it's because I'm not allowed to upload until next week. YouTube have struck me off for uh, uh, breaking their rules, regulations, or their community. Uh, um, whatever it is with the World Health Organization for a video I recorded on healing prayers for every day on the 18th of September it was four but I didn't upload it till the 29th but they struck me off second time same issues but it was off the cuff it wasn't planned and it wasn't written in what I was going to be doing so it's uh, Wednesday the 6th of October and um, uh, yes, I'm going to do the readings for that day. So I'll tell you what the readings are. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The reading, the first reading is from the prophet Jonah, chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. And then the response or the psalm, You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. Psalm 85, 3 to 6 and 9 to 10. And the Holy Gospel is taken according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. A reading from the prophet Jonah. Jonah was very indignant. He fell into a rage. He prayed to the Lord and said, our Lord, it's not this just as I said would happen when I was still at home. That was why I went and fled to Tarshish. I knew that you were a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, relenting from evil. So now, Lord, please take away my life, for I might as well be dead as go on living. The Lord replied, Are you right to be angry? Jonah then went out of the city and sat down to the east of the city. There he made himself a shelter and sat under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. Then the Lord God arranged that a castor oil plant should grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head and soothe his ill humour. Jonah was delighted with the castor oil plant, but at dawn the next day, God arranged that a worm should attack the castor oil plant and it withered. Next, when the sun rose, God arranged that there should be a scorching east wind. The sun beat down so hard on Jonah's head that he was overcome and begged for death, saying, I might as well be dead as go on living. God said to Jonah, Are you right to be angry? about the castor oil plant? He replied, I have every right to be angry to the point of death. The Lord replied, You are only upset about a castor oil plant which cost you no labour, which you did not make grow, which sprouted in a night and has perished in a night. And am I not to feel sorry for Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than a hundred and twenty thousand people who cannot tell their right hand from their left to say nothing of all the animals? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 85 and the response. You, O oh Lord, 
have mercy and compassion. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice. You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvellous deeds. You alone are God. You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The spirit you received is the spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, <coughs> excuse me, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us and do not put us to the test the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ thank you so much for listening I'm sorry this is going to be a week late uploading my apologies. Sending you God's peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And thank you once again for listening.